Uh, good evening. Um, are we going to continue the um, things you should and shouldn't do when you're majorly depressed and in the kind of state of mind where really everything, even sometimes feeling like drawing breath, is a big, big effort. You just want to lie down in bed, curl up and have the world pass you by until you feel better. Um, these are three things uh, that uh, will benefit you if you do them. And the first one <laughs> is the opposite. You, know, you want to just, as I said, do nothing whatsoever. I'm going to suggest some incredibly gentle exercise. Go for a walk. Walking is exercise. It's a form of resistance exercise. You don't have to walk fast. You don't have to walk slow. Walk at your own pace. If you can bring it yourself to walk briskly, so much the better. That will get lymph glands going. And if you walk during the day and the sun isn't too strong and you can get some ultraviolet light, then that will increase your vitamin D levels. That's going to be helpful as well. But if you don't want to go out and do a walk, then very simple sort of um, I presume they're aerobic exercise. I don't know, but just sort of you know lifting your hands up and down. And if you know any Tai Chi, just gently lifting your hands up and down with your elbows out, um, gently. Bending your knees, not by very much, maybe four or five degrees, and then up again. If you've got some stairs, if you can walk up and down some stairs once and then twice, anything. Get moving. Internal biochemistry of your body will thank you for it. And if you're the kind of person who likes the gym or whatever, then go and do your favorite gym exercises or do them in the house if it means you know, a bit of weight training, but if you are not used to exercising. Oh, uh, another one is uh, it's called a, a door push-up. So you don't have to be on the floor. You can be standing up, move, and then gently push yourself back away and do that four, five, six times. If you haven't exercised for a while, then you don't want to overdo it, seriously. You can get up to 10, great. You'll feel a certain amount of resistance here and here. Um, obviously, nowhere near as uh, demanding as doing floor push-ups, but will exercise you. Just th these things will get your lungs going, and, 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 and the oxygen, the extra oxygen in your body, is gonna help. It really, really is gonna help. Oxygen is very, very good. It helps clear out some of the bad things in your uh, bloodstream and your bloodstream at night clears out or helps clear out a lot of other toxins in your body it, it, it could be as well the, the, um, and this is a kind of something i'll touch upon another time but if you've been thinking too hard if you've been concentrating um, even something like driving and you haven't been switched off but you've had to concentrate because maybe you've been stop start traffic um, when your brain is thinking it, the brain cells release a certain amount of fluid and that fluid builds up pressure and it needs time to drain away. I've used the analogy before of a plastic bag with a small puncture in it. So if you can think of that, a, a, a plastic bag full of water, imagine that's your cranium and the small hole is the escape route for this, this liquid. But the liquid builds up and it builds pressure, which is why after you've done a lot of mental work or a lot of exercising or you've been awake too long, you start feeling like you're getting a headache. You need to give yourself some time to rest. Uh, meditation can help with that. Relaxation tips, techniques. But really what you need to do is sleep because that drains away while you're asleep and it's dangerous for it to build up. Uh, it's why for students, swatting is not a good idea because that builds up and builds up and builds up and it can let, stress the body out. And then that's why 
you know, some students can't handle it and they they um, they suffer accordingly. Um, so that's number one, a bit of gentle, gentle, gentle exercise. Walking is the best, but if you can't get out for a walk or maybe it's stormy outside or whatever, then try the, the door push push aways if you want to call them that. Or go and get a couple of cans from out of your, your cupboard and, and, and just do some uh, bicep curls uh, and lift them over your head. So, not too strenuous if you're not used to exercising. Be very careful of your joints if you're older. Um, your joints do need respect. They need a, a lot of respect. Or there's YouTube. You type in gentle exercises and you'll find something. Um, it, 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 could, it could be uh, some yoga exercises. And don't be fooled. Yoga is tougher than it looks. Okay? Those, those moves are like, all they're doing is holding a pose. Uh, 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 uh. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they are not. So, <clears throat> but, okay, that's number one. Number two, I've just done it. Find something to make you laugh. Find something to make you laugh. Unlike music, which you can't predict what the tones are going to do to your mood, which, as I said yesterday, you probably should avoid music if you're really, really, really severely depressed. Laughter... If it's one of your favorite comedians, then um, really speaking, you, 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 you cannot go wrong. Um, I've got my favorite comedians. I do suggest that you avoid comedians who are um, they're not out to shock so much as they, they are controversial. Um, if you are in a negative state of mind, this you might either disagree with the comedian or you might agree with them. It's going to feed that negativity. That is not good. And then the... Um, well, that's it, really. Exercise and laughter. And then the third one would be do not indulge in comfort food because comfort food, by definition, is usually going to put your body under more stress. It's high in sugar, high in fats. You want to give your body a break. It's fighting that food and it fights it long after you're sleeping or go to sleep and your sleep is necessary for you to heal. Okay, um, I hope that's helpful and we'll be back again with more tomorrow. Good night.